think of it? So guys, hitting in. Phil. Um, crossfire collectibles. And uh today is a special day. Um as you guys are wondering, we haven't had any content since our like four days of content, but that's because it's December, it's the holiday season. Work, 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 and school, 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 school. But uh today's a special day because it is our dad's birthday. Yay! <laughs> and um, yeah, so for my birthday, my awesome mother, his grandmother, got me. The 3 0 and Hasbro DLX Transformers Bumblebee version Soundwave and Ravage. And uh, we're gonna get to opening this, but first, he's got a couple things we're gonna show off. Um, we did end up finding these, these things at a uh, Home Goods. You guys have seen them, uh, some of the other pieces in the past, but now we have the rest of them that are out. So these are from Forever Clever, and we got. The Sky Striker and Night Raven set. The Snowcat Construction set. And the Surveillance Patrol Construction set. It comes with the... The Radar Truck, Motorcycle, and Drone. Yeah. Who else you got? Duke, Flint, and Snake Eyes. I don't know if it's Flint or not. It doesn't say. But... And here you have, I'm assuming, Snow Job and Whiteout. And in this, it looks like... Ace, I think it should be Ace anyway, and a Cobra pilot. And, uh, yeah. So uh, we did a little bit of uh, shopping today for my birthday to go out and you know see if we find anything you know before and after we went to dinner. Uh, we checked a few things out. Um, didn't find too much. We got a couple things that we're going to show you this weekend because we actually have another video coming for you Saturday. But until then, uh, yeah, just hang tight with us and we'll get you some more things. But uh. We did see some okay stuff. We got a couple things that are already related to some stuff that we have. Like, we got some helmet stands. They were pretty neat. I don't know. A couple figures. Uh, a couple customs coming your way. I think I'm going to get a Marvel Legends uh, Human Torch figure from the uh, Super Scrawl pack. Or Super Scrawl Pillar figure set. Take his head, paint his hair red, and put him on barbecue. So, that might be neat. All right. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and move on and uh, get this sucker out. So, again, this, I think she got this from Big Bad Toy Store. It's still sealed. have not taken the tape off or anything. But it's from, it's from 3-0. And uh, in partial with uh, Hasbro. So, you've got this DLX Soundwave and Ravage. And I'm super excited about this. This is really, really cool. Ready? can't see it too well but you get to the point this is magnetic i thought there was going to be a strip but no magnetic nice box cool 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 it's taped up so you know what that calls for wait for you to say it trusty dusty con you and um let me see if i can get this off without the oh it just peels right off okay good we don't have to cut it and destroy it so that's a cost. Oh. I'm excited to open this. I'm taking my time with it. I haven't gotten like a really neat birthday present in a minute. Doesn't have no instructions or anything. I did see a, uh, a video review. Oh, it does. Um, I think from T Man, like a while back, but. I haven't watched any since because I was like, oh man, I need to get that, I need to get that. It's kind of like a hot pool, you've got a ton of, a ton of layers you got to take out before you get to the stuff. Go ahead and take out that, let me show that stuff. You got a warranty sheet. And he also comes with this really cool stain. Moves around a lot. Pretty cool. Moves around. Just extends right here. So we're not going to need yeah. this because he does not transform. And I was aware of that. I'm okay with that because uh, I want him to play anyway. But uh, Ravage, who is right here, does transform. So we'll get to messing with him too. Just 
things back in there. And he should fit right in all sound waves chest. So we'll start pulling pieces out and I'll say it as we get it out. I'm just gonna go ahead and take out some of Stand. It smells like it just came out of a body shop. Like paint smell. Man, he looks cool. Decepticons attack. Autobots fall back. Is that a stand room? That is awesome. I was really impressed by seeing this originally because just the tremendous amount of detail that they put into it. Like put that down. joints and everything. Kind of like uh, similar to, if you can see behind him over here, the Toy World uh, Optimus that's in there. Optimus is a bit bigger, it looks like, from this angle. But they actually fit together. Yeah, they fit the same because they're both from the Bumblebee movie. Um, and then we also have Bumblebee there too, but it's not the DLX one. Yeah. But the DLX one. Um, can you get it? Right, I'm not exactly sure what pops up on him, but um, you see inside of his little chest cavity. It's really hard to see. I'll try to put him off the light. And Ravage should go in here like that. Oh! Cool. What's he say? Ravage eject! And pop that back out. And uh... Wanna mess with that? Someone has to do a few things. He lights up, I believe. Just gotta find the, the switch and all that good stuff. I'm not sure exactly what to do. It's been a while since I've seen anything on this. Okay, so there we go. I know his head has a button, but somehow this don't there we go. And he doesn't have a battery. Shit. Okay. So I'm gonna have to get a battery for him unless this comes along. I don't think it does though. You didn't see any batteries over there? Mm -mm. All right, so we'll go ahead and get this video done and show off this quick little present in review. And uh, in a future video, I will have a battery in him and I'll bring him back out and I'll show you his light up eyes. But uh, apart from that, let's get to the accessories. So, wow, this is straight metal. This is, what is this? Oh, this is the piece that goes into a shoulder can. And then we'll go ahead and get out the shoulder can. So this should go in... He's got his sonic cannon. Pew, pew, pew. These out. This is, this is, this is some of Ravage's stuff. Every time he gets a damn thing, he falls back in. He's got this piece. That's for him. And he's got Guns, one of the, the old Ravage, it was missiles. And that sound wave comes with a bunch of different hands. So here you have a pair of regular open hands. Here you have some wide open palms. I'm gonna have to figure out which ones I'm gonna put on. Here's Ravage. Got some trigger hands. And he's got one more, which is his two finger point. Cool. 
Pikachu rabbit. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, figure out what hands I'm gonna put on. Here's Ravage. He looks pretty cool. Put the missiles on his legs. Has his little gun up here. Open his mouth a little bit. Pretty good uh, articulation on his legs and stuff. Pretty cool. That's slick. Whoa. Whoa show off some of the, the joint features and all. He's very articulated, dude. Yeah, articulated and like definitely cyber to where you can see all this cool mess. Like a better than the masterpiece one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, so while we're figuring out how to pose him, that's a little bit. It looks like these. What do you what do you call them? Digits or uh, appendages are fairly flexible. Because I was worried, you know, that you would try to put this gun like in his hand, for example, and it would snap. But it's not going to be the case. It's going to go in pretty well. So yeah, he can hold it pretty good. And this should plug in right here. Ooh. Okay, so the metal on this, on the gun that you, that you go in, it actually does move. So you'll be able to plug it into this hole right here, like so. And when you want to bring them up for some blast action. I got him so weak. Pew, pew, pew. Two pew, pew, pew. I'm gonna keep it on the stack for now. Cause I think it's like, sick. And I wanna keep him pointing if it's like, you ready to attack or something? He's got, I'm trying to think how to make him like, like almost like he's charging. You know? Like, wow, you showed him. Bring a stand over. A sound wave up on that mother lover. Ravage right in front of him. Find a spot to put these hands. I'm not gonna be using them. It'll go back in there. That's cool. The only thing I'm kind of bummed out is, is there's no battery. I figured there would be a battery because sometimes these larger figures will come with one. But nope, I do not see one. It's okay. I ain't trying to. Needs two AG13s. And yeah, it's just headlighting. He doesn't uh doesn't do anything else, so that's all that happens with the um with the head once you put the batteries in. Just make the headlight up. So nothing special, no no sounds, but that's okay. Um if you guys ever pick up one of them masterpiece sound wave kits. So some of them have a the little cassette tape, you know, it'll, it'll say some things, you know, it'll be like... Bumble, laser beak, ravage, prepare for battle, operation, warfare, eject, eject, eject. Apart from that, this is really cool. I like it. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put them. I have, um, I have a little setup in my room. I've got, uh, I've got a Tarn set up in there and he's with a few of um 
kind of my prized Cobra figures like Metalhead and uh, Voltar. Those are good. Play Top Patrol, Major Blood. It just it the color scheme doesn't match, but I want to put Soundwave somewhere, and plus he's like huge, so he needs to go into a decent a decent place. This feels rubber. It is. Okay, so these under flaps right here are like flexible plastic. They felt rubber when I touched them. There's like so many different, you know, detailed, you know, points on here, especially with the points of articulation, you know, these shoulder pieces. It's just, it's amazingly well, you know, sculpted and crafted the way they did it. And I don't care that it doesn't transform because this looks awesome. On that little rotating joint right here. Put the stand on there. I wonder if there's a way to get him to like, like jump it out of the chest, like transform. Like he's coming out like, let me step first and then ah, I'm old. Yeah. What do you guys think? Like that puzzle? Or have him like running on his arms. No, I just want him pointing. Like, like, Get that fool. Blast that sucker. Sid. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, that's all I guess we're, uh, all we're going to show with him for now. But very cool. I think he retails about $209.99, something like that. But, um, otherwise, pretty neat. Um, we should be getting another one of these, and because uh, he really wants the the bumblebee, I'm debating on uh, Blitzwing. But, uh, yeah. Once we can get the two batteries, sometimes we they just pop right in here, and then so you push this piece right here, and his eyes should light up. But his eyes are not going to light up today, so sorry about that. But we'll get it done. So yeah, this is my little birthday event right here, and I'm happy because you know got a great present. We got this awesome little dude right here. Mm. Yeah, so until the next time, take it away, stick. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a giant thumbs up, subscribe, and publication so you know when post a video. Tickle, tickle. Be sure to follow us both on Instagram at everything.gijo. Crossfire X Collectibles. Check out our Facebook at HP Crossfire Collectibles. And check out our Patreon. One dollar. One dollar. See you all in the next one. Peace. Peace.